quickly about the high school and how we benefit. it. We have sponsored by CWC, which is um, Children's Workforce Development, in which they put money in to make them talk. We were then consulted, then consulted 200 people, over 200 people invited what qualities they would like in a worker. This led on to um, us consulting people from the Young Ones Project in New Edmonton, New Edmonton uh, Young People um, in the street, also uh, Whitehorse Manor Council, um, Eden, yes, the Eden and High School students, and children at, young people at the Croydon Men Lab last year. Our findings from this was that 4% said that um, signposting was one of the main important aspects of that, which is basically um, advice, other words. 5% <laughs> said that um, humbleness is the last quality that they most like. Um, with the following 10% said that um, patience was one of their major important things for them. Um, I remember it. <laughs> 15% said that um, respect is one of their most positive, with the following 20% said that fun was the major important to them, and overall 46% said that listening is one of their important. In doing this, as Emmanuel said, that we produced a DVD tool, DVD which showed all the people that we consulted throughout the Lucy Pipe tour. Um, to do this, we had media training which lasted six weeks. Um, and it just basically helped us in terms of the skills and use of the camera and etc. Um, in doing this, we, um, yeah, if you would like, like to be part of um, a pipe tool and introduce it into your work, then please sign up on our site on our sheet, think at the back. And also, the DVD will be played throughout the workshop, but unfortunately, it's no sound, so it's very <laughs> I filled in the questionnaire a young person filled in the questionnaire. How is that all collated? Who's, who's going to be responsible for that information on both parts? The idea is that the manager looks at all the information. Who's, who's, who's manager? Um, the manager could be um, the head teacher or um, a senior police officer or a senior nurse or whatever. Okay. Um, it just depends on organisation to organisation. Um, but the idea is that the manager would look at um, the place of before him or her and they will decide where the practitioner needs to go then they will track their progress over uh, the number of months to see how they can improve. Okay. And can that tool be used alongside uh, each organisation's own evaluation tool, a quality assurance tool? Um, definitely, yeah. I think one um, unique selling point of this tool is that um, it's quite versatile so you can use it alongside the um, other existing tools in your organisation. And do, sorry, do the young person, the practitioner, do they meet at some point? Do they know who's who? Um, no, we discussed this like in great detail and we decided that. Um, and we decided that being anonymous was the best way. For example, if a young person knows the practitioner already, yeah, they have a tendency to be biased. For example, if they have a personal issue, they have a tendency to sway more of a negative way than positive. So it's literally based on the response that you give. And then the research that we've collected which is also on the um, toolkit will be given back and you can see exactly what young people have said and what you said. So the young person will be able to see all the responses that we've placed as well. So they'll be able to go on their own kind of opinions on how the practitioners should have reacted and also the responses that we've collected from young people as well. Can you just tell us a little bit about Croydon Express? Um, we're basically a group of 15 to 17, I think, young people who are 18 and younger. And um, we're totally a youth-led entity underneath the umbrella organisation of Croydon Voluntary Action. And um, the idea is that we go around and we use participation methods, um, interactive participation methods, in various different ways in order to collect information for people um, like the WCC or the NHS or the police service, etc. And um, we also organise events in Croydon, like such as this one, um, in order to either publicise whatever work we've been doing at that time um, yeah. and we also are consulted by organisations who wish to find a group of young people such as ourselves um, and they can come in and talk to us about whatever issues that they have so we've done some, some stuff with the police force and we've done some stuff with the NHS about such a 
One question I just wanted to ask, in terms, you said most of your young people are between the ages of 15 and 18. Um, and I don't want to generalise, but are all of you in education or training of some sort? Um, yes, most of us. <laughs> um, most of us, yeah, all of us, I think, yes. However, we are going on, most of us now are going on into universities, gap years, etc. So there will be different, varied types of people. And right. also, we have volunteers. Right, the, the, reason, the reason for asking that question is focusing on the needs, those who are not in education, employment or training. How do you target that group? Um, well, we do go through like, things like proof, organisations such as proof. Mm -hmm. um, we have lots of different techniques where we try and in encourage those kinds of, I guess, like, groups. Group, hard groups, whatever, um, to come into our events and such like. Um, we do specifically wish to target those kind of groups, for example, those not educational training or disabled or refugees and asylum seekers. Like, we, we try and target the whole breadth of Croydon because mm -hmm. Croydon is so different. That's like one of our main aims to target those different types of people. Sorry, um, can I add something? Yeah, yeah. Sure. basically. No. So I just want to say also, you know when I said in the top in the introduction, introduction that more than 200 young people were involved, they were part of it. So part of our um, opinion that we've got back in feedback was from the hard to reach people. So like asylum seekers, mm -hmm. people that aren't in educational training, and that's what we did. Yeah. So that's what basically we did for over 200 of the young people, but well, mainly that kind of people, young people. So it wasn't just us. And the reason why we're all like 16 to 18 mainly is because um, that's when we start employing. But to be honest, voluntary, it's from five, no, 8 to 25, right? So yeah, we've got like a wide range. Mm -hmm. But just for the moment, it looks really small. But we do go out and we do consult other young people. And um, what we'd like to do now, that's okay with you, on various, on this table, there's two tables here and two tables back there. We're basically have written questions down on a big large piece of paper. I uh, suppose it makes some heads. If you just like to write your responses to a paper, like it's time to think about how you could maybe implement it into your own organisation. And then hopefully we can come back and we can feedback some of the responses that we get. And also we can start to think about how you could maybe take it back to your own organisation. And if you are, if anyone is interested, on the back of this pillar there's a sheet. And if you just write your name and your organisation, and then we have your details and we'll be able to distribute the tool to you.